Rabbit Street, Little Italy. Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be. It's Vinny, a friend of mine. Stand up guy from the Lower East Side. Take it from me, he's one of a kind. It's Vinny, Velotar. Welcome to Welcome to Tell It Like It Is. The Vinny and Mariana show. <laughs> Mariana, my baby. What a good girl she Hi, Vinny, how are you? Oh, I'm all right, sweetheart. How are you been, okay? Good. What did you think about that weather a couple of weeks ago? It was pretty bad. Pretty I mean, bad. I've, I've lived in New York now for 13 years, and I don't think I've ever experienced below zero, sub zero weather like I did two weeks ago. Oh, man, it, it was, was pretty intense. It was cold. And especially because the winds were so strong, it was about 50 mile per hour winds. So that really created a lot more of the intense weather. It was it was pretty. <coughs> How did you deal with it? Were you okay with everything? <laughs> <laughs> or you just didn't leave the house? Let me put it this way. <laughs> um, you, know, you know, I was I was in a hospital for a month. Right. And um, so when I came out, my doctor said you got to get a lot of rest and don't do too much for right. now, for at least a couple of months. So now what I do is I go out, and I spend a whole day out, uh, then I'll rest for three days. At home. <laughs> and I don't want to push it. Right. And, uh, so uh, I was able to do it. You were. When I go out, I leave my house, I get into car service, back to go from there. They drop me off, from there I get car service, come right back. So you're really not, not dealing, right, so you're not, not like, outside as much. Right, I'm not yeah. walking around right. doing anything like that. Hey, yes. hey. A lot of place for I know. Uh huh. Um, and this is right around the corner from where I live. We're on uh, on Ash Street between House and Prince, yes. right off the corner of Prince Street. Yes. And, Cafe uh, Chitang. Yes. And I remember years ago, because I've been in this place a lot of my life. This used to be a grocery store. This used to be a grocery yeah. store. Wow. And I had old slot machines. Ah. Oh. Yes, yes. Our Let, get this baby. Where is she? Yes. I, I just want to introduce you. Frida. 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 This is the hottest waitress in here. I'm Frida. And, you know, and I read eyes. And when I look in those eyes, you know what they say? Boy, I wish I was younger. Aww. Frida, wish, how long I have wish, you been working at Cafe Chitano? I've been here for about a year. A year? Yeah. So yeah, it's actually almost a couple years. So I started in March last year. And how are you enjoying it thus far? Working a lot. I like it a lot. Everyone that works here is lovely. And we can see how popular it is. Yeah, it's been popular. It's a great time. It's been here for a long time. And you said it was a mixture of Moroccan and French? Yeah, yes. And French too. I was selling Mariana. Because I've been here on my life years, but this used to be a grocery store. Oh, before you? Yeah. 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 And these had slot machines in the back. <laughs> Did it? Really? Yeah, it's real. Right. These had slot machines in the back. The cops would come in like once a week, yeah. once every two weeks, and take the machines out. But until yeah, I they guess start, the whole neighborhood until they was started getting paid yeah. off, then they didn't come in no more. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah. This, that's, and we guys come in here again, yeah. and then they used to run numbers and everything. I don't think, I don't think they ever sold any, any groceries. Probably, probably not. They not. probably <laughs> made better money. I'm just wondering. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back with you. Okay, coffee. thank you okay. so much, Frida. Yeah. So that was Frida, everyone, our lovely waitress at oh, this yeah. restaurant. What happened? And <laughs> I tell you, when I see a beautiful thing, I forget. Yes. So when? Oh, there's the cappuccino. Oh, cappuccino. Oh, thank you very yeah. much. I tell you, this street is on the ball. Thank you this so street much. This street is on the ball. All right, baby. And, um, and then the cops started getting paid off. Then they didn't come in anymore. So, uh, wow. But every once in a while, <coughs> what they what they used what they what they did was they used to come in and raid the place and close the place down for the day, but not bust up the machine or take the money. Close the place down. That's what we're getting. Then they open up the next day. Yeah. I remember everything around here. Oh man, everything's changing. You know. You, you well, just, because you always mention about the changes. So how do you feel about all these changes? Because it's a it's a completely well, different lifestyle now. Whatever it is. It is. Yeah. It is. Uh, how do I feel about it? Uh, well, um, I don't know. I really don't yeah. know. I mean, I liked it then, and I like it now. You do? You know? Yeah. First, 
what we have now is we have all these cafes and clothing shops. Right. And it brought a lot of beautiful well, women in the area. <laughs> a lot of beautiful women and a lot of business to the and area. a lot of business in the area. Yeah. So I, I think I'm liking this one more. You do? A little bit more. Yeah. You know? And uh, so I, um, I didn't mind the change. No. I didn't mind the change. And as far as the families and the people that you grew up with, have a lot of people left because of all well, the changes, because you. of the, red, the rise in red? Uh, we have, Frida, we have sugar. So sugar? Yeah, yeah of course. those cubes. You got more regular sugar? We have brown sugar. sugar and the regular sugar. Say what? Oh, wow. Brown sugar and the regular sugar. Oh, no. Brown sugar with your regular meat. Thank you. <coughs> oh, wow. Look, Look at this. Look at this, everyone. Oh, man. We have cheesecake, and apparently their most popular dessert is the bread pudding. Who is that? She can. The bread pudding. Oh. She said it was the most popular dessert. Oh, wow. So. Oh, sorry. No, I was saying because growing up well, with all I'll these families. You, a lot of these buildings around here are all rent control stabilized right. building. Right. So the only thank you so much. Okay. What a good job. Thank you. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Give me a tip. I don't like this. Alright, but I'll say it later. Thank you. So uh, um, what happened was when owners of these buildings yeah. seen what was happening around here, they brought out the people that were in these apartments. Rent control stabilized buildings. Right. And uh, <coughs> they would offer the money to move out. And a lot of these people never had that kind of money before. No. No, they first they would start off with, you know, we'll, we'll um, give you ten or fifteen thousand dollars. Can't because where are they gonna move? Right. Ten or fifteen thousand. Right. So the word got around, hey, listen, you can get a lot more. So the wonder was a lot of these people were getting $50,000 out of move out. And uh, there was one woman, <clears throat> she had, um, she hadn't seen her sister in years, but she would always call her up once a year on the telephone. She lived down in Florida. So the owner said, would you like to go see your sister? Oh, yeah. I'll give you $50,000 if you move out. She took the money and she moved down with her sister. And she lived happily ever after. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And, but not everybody was like that. No, I bet. Everybody was trying to get 75. So, um, but they, they were, a lot of them were settling for the 50. Mm -hmm. And they moved out. And uh, this grocery store, uh, they doubled their rent. Doubled it. You know? And they did that all over Little Italy. Right. That's why a lot of these places are closing down. They're closing down. You yeah. know, there's one place called um, La Bella Ferrari. Yes. There was two of them. There's a cafe. Yes. And the bakery. Right. So the cafe and was they, paying. And they're very well known for their pastries they've, they've been all there, over the oh, world. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they were there for, um, it was like 40, 41, 43 yeah. years. It's a tourist attraction because so of the cookies. What happened was, their rent was eight thousand a month. Okay. So the landlord seen the changes. Now we came in there and told him, "You got after your lease is up next year, your rent is going to be sixteen thousand, double." So double day. Wow. So uh, he packed his bags and left. Oh my goodness. Who else going to pay sixteen thousand dollars? Then he rented it into the Chinese. Yeah. He gave it to him for thirteen. Okay. Uh, my friend could have got it for 13 too, but still from 8 to 13. It's still a you know, lot of money. It's you guys sell a lot of cannoli, a lot of, lot of espressos for that. Absolutely. So, um, but that, that's everybody was being bought out. Now, it went my building. Right. Huh. <clears throat> we, um. Because how long has that process been? How long have you been where that you have to move out? Eight so that years. You, it's been eight years? Because as soon as we relocated. Yes. <coughs> the city went broke. Oh, it was during that time. The city yeah. went broke. Yeah. So now, and the city was broke for the longest time. Then they had to um, accumulate the money that we've been paying yeah. for rent at where we were relocated, but still it wasn't enough to rent the whole building. So now they came to a decision. It's either we buy the apartment. Or the build, you know, we the building goes co-op, we buy it, or they put it on the market, 
and somebody buys it and then we're out. Right. We didn't want to leave. Right. But we decided we'll buy it. And uh, we got inside price. Very good. But it took a lot, many years, eight years, wow. you know, before it was completed. Now it's completed, and we'll be right back there very soon now. You Let said me... two weeks ago, or a week ago, you said that it would probably be in June? Yeah, yeah. around June. So now, um, hold on one second, just like a little tasty. <laughs> it's really tasty. Oh. Very good cappuccino. So now, um, and now, it's rent control. Right. But now when we go, now I, I can tell everybody now, my rent was $192.50 a month. Now when I go you, back. For how long? It's, how, all, it's always been like that, it's $100, always been like $182? Well, no, years ago when I moved in, it was $121, oh $122. So every like oh several goodness. years would go up $5. Yeah. You know? So now it's one ninety two fifty. Now when we go back. Yes. We had to buy the apartment for inside price, which was nothing. But our rent goes up. Yeah. And I'll probably be paying now when I go back about less. Well, anyway, it'll be less than three hundred, about maybe like two fifty or something like that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, it'll be around that price. But they're selling the other apartments where there's eight apartments left to build. Not only that, but now the building is completely renovated. Yeah. Probably it's going to have state-of-the-art appliances. You're going to have everything. Now you're going to be living Everything's on the second floor. Yes. Yeah. You're going to be living on the second floor instead of the fifth floor. Right. So you're going to have everything at your doorstep, pretty much, because you're right in the middle of Little Italy. You name it. The best, the best. <laughs> neighborhood in Manhattan. There you go. And for $300. A little less than 300 Oh, my God. Maybe about 275 but they're renting the other eight apartments, not renting, they're selling the other eight apartments yes. that are available. They're not renting them oh, for 400000 wow. wow, it makes sense. Great. Right. Well, that was a good catch. Anyway. Um, so uh, yeah. So in total, how many apartments are within 20 the building? Altogether. 20 altogether. 20 altogether. 10 on each side of the building. I see. And um, there's going to be eight apartments available. But they're for four hundred thousand. We should do a show when you move in at your place, oh, just yeah. to get a glimpse of Vinny's world, <laughs> of what it will be like now. There you go. Yeah. And the before and after. Before and after, yes. And um, so what happened? Can I order your sugar? Absolutely, brown sugar. Because these white sugars are you not good. You didn't like much. the cubes, no. No. And now, um, let's see. I was going to mention something. What was? Okay. I'm going to mention something. Oh, yeah, so now, 400000 is nothing because right on the very corner, yeah. they renovated another building. Yeah. It used to be a bakery. Uh, oh. It was called La Rosa Bakery. Okay. And they gutted out the whole building and rented it all out. And they made uh, um, condos out of it. You're kidding. Condos, same thing. Yes. And they, but they're selling them for like a million, two million a piece. On my block, on my same block, they're renting out a studio, mm -hmm. like 325 square feet. Yep. Walk up four, five flights. Yeah. They rented them out for 3,300, 30, yeah. 3,500. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do eventually? Eventually. What is it? Are you sure you want to mention it uh, <laughs> on camera? Uh, maybe I should. Well, maybe you shouldn't. Yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, when, when I'm able to rent, we can't rent. Or sub, or sub rent. Oh yeah. yeah. For at least two years. Right. So now if I let's just say if I did get somebody in there, <coughs> that one I would sublease the apartment to somebody. Three thousand thirty five hundred for three hundred twenty five three hundred twenty five square feet. This is gonna have like a thousand square feet. Yeah. I can easily rent that and everything is brand new in the apartment. I can easily rent that like forty three, forty four hundred dollars a month. But you want to know something? Yeah, but now I'm in the process of buying another co-op in Florida. Oh, you were saying that, yes. Yeah. And that's very cheap. Very cheap. But you said Palm Beach? Is that where Around you're Around Pompano. Pompano? Pompano? Yeah. And it, I got oceanfront apartment, oceanfront view. And it's very cheap. <clears throat> so now, if I rent that, that, I'll still make a lot of money for that. 
and that'll pay still my rent down in Florida. Right. Plus my Social Security and my pension. Who's better than you? He's all set. Who's better than you? Everybody, we know exactly who. Who's better than you? No one's better You're right. than you, Vinny. You're right. So uh, I have to take you with me. I'm not so leaving I, you. I'm a little curious, now changing the subject uh -oh. a little bit. <laughs> uh oh, not person. Not right now during the winter time, but usually during the summertime. What's a typical day like for you in Little Italy? I'm sure a lot of viewers want to know where well, do you usually go? go what are your favorite places? I go to all the restaurants in the neighborhood. Do you have a particular place that you enjoy going to the most? Yeah, I go to La Bella. Well, I used to go to La Bella Ferrari when it was a cafe. Yeah. I used to hang out in there all day long. Pictures with thousands of pictures all over the place. Really? And I was in half of them. <laughs> I bet. You know, I'd be taking pictures of everybody. Or there was another place called Luna's mm -hmm. across the street. I go to Luna's. Or. Um, Angelo's or um, La Mela. And all these places are still there, correct? Oh, Other yeah. than La all those places yes. are still there. Yeah. You know, except for the cafe. Right. So I still go to all of them. You still go. You know? And uh, then I sit down outside the cafe, I go to chair, take the sun. Yeah. You know? And uh, everybody knows me, so I take pictures with everybody all day long. Yeah. I'm just loving it. I'm sure. That's. That's not, that's when I'm not working, that's what I do. Right. Because we all know he's very busy shooting shows, yeah, TV yeah, shows, yeah. films, our show. Our show. Yeah. Your show. <laughs> my show. Your show. Yeah. yeah. But that, that's, that's, that's my typical day. That's your typical day. What should? <laughs> or should I not ask? Oh, my goodness. Well, every day is very different for me, Benny, because depending, working as an actress, as a professional dancer, as a host, every day, I never have a set schedule because it all depends on what production I'm in at the moment, which this show is going to air a little bit later than when my production, my off-Broadway production ends. But, like, for instance, currently right now, I'm working in an off-Broadway play, which is going to take place at the West End Theater. And... Because we're at the last end of rehearsal, the rehearsal process, like let's say two, this Tuesday and this Wednesday, I'm gonna be in tech rehearsal all day. Then go and come here and shoot the show, then go and take a dance class or go to a musical theater audition or go to a TV and film audition or take my theater class, my acting class. It's just every day is very different, which I, I love. I love that all out about I know, too. exactly. But it's usually, it's, it's work, 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 but it's something that I so love doing and it's such a passion of mine that it doesn't feel like work. It feels like I'm living in the most amazing city in the world and doing what I love. What's better than that? You're right. <laughs> you know? And I think oh, since there's so many artists here in the city, that's a typical day for most art, for an artist because they're constantly meeting new people, networking, so going to class. That's your typical day? Yeah. It's always... My schedule is full. You should look at my calendar on my phone, and it's always there's something going on every hour to the hour. Well, I have to put it there on my calendar. Yeah, you have to. Because <coughs> I forget yeah. everything. Right. Your, your name is on every day. <laughs> to remember to call me. <laughs> Even though I call up Mariana, I, she used to answer the phone all the time right away. Now when I call her, eh. Every once when in I a call while. her, eh, every once in a while. She'll call me back, you know, and uh, she'll call me back and say, oh, I miss your call, oh, but that's okay. Yeah. But uh, Mariana is such <coughs> a good girl, and I, Thank we're joined to the hips. I don't know what I would do without her. Do you know, a month, well, almost two months from now, in April, it'll be two years since we've been working together. Two years. The time wow. flies. It's, it's unbelievable that. how time unbelievable. flies. Unbelievable. You were a baby when you I started. was. <laughs> You were a baby. Yeah, I was. Wow. God. I, think I was a little bit of a baby. You were. But it's it's so interesting, with especially with actors, if they go into this type of field and they're working on live television, meeting people, talking with guests, doing interviews, it's such an asset to have when you walk into a room for an audition because you're you're very, you become very accustomed to being off, off the cuff, being able to let your personality shine. So I think that's this is a great gift that you gave oh, yeah. me to be able to do all these things that a lot of people are not given the opportunity to do and they never are able to kind of hone in on what their personality is like to present it to others. You know, getting back to this place. Yeah. It's called Gitana. Gitana, yeah, Cafe Gitana. Cafe Gitana. It's one of the most relaxing places that you come in. It's like, like family in here. It's like sitting down 
have a club with all your friends around you. And I just, it's very warm in there. It is. You know, it's not a very big place. It's not, but it's packed. And it's always packed. That's what I like about it. Always packed. Moroccan? Yeah, it's a mixture and a fusion of Moroccan and French. Moroccan and French food. Moroccan and French. Yep. Merci beaucoup. Yeah, oui, oui. oui. <laughs> okay. Right. But it, it does give you that feel of a cafe in Paris. Oh, yeah. You know, it, it has that sense. Okay. And if you can see well, the crowd I know that when I was in France, it's just a little bit different. Yeah. But it's so remind like the colors. The colors. There's this issue. And even the crowd that comes in here, the general crowd is so eclectic. They're very different, very hipster like, very artsy. So it's a very different feel for what little Italy and Nolita is like. Yeah. It's really nice. And the and the waitresses and everybody is everybody's look how so beautiful friendly. Is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See that? Yeah. And uh, Everybody's just so warm in here. And that's why I love coming in. Here. So, how did you end up finding this place? I know it used to be a grocery store, but have you been in here before to eat? Yeah. Oh, you have. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I was right around the corner. Well, I know that, but I didn't know if you had tried some of the food. What? Fifteen years. It has. Okay. Yeah, I, I, uh, I can. And sometimes they've got the tables outside. Yeah, I can I see the I don't, I don't sit inside, I sit outside. You sit outside. Look at all the beautiful, beautiful women outside. coming in and out. And you were telling me that right across the street is the school where your children attended? Is the what? The school that your children attended, yeah, right? Yeah, the school's over there and the church over the there. The church over there. Right. Yeah. Not that I attended. Your children. My children. Yes. My, well, well yeah. yeah. Vinny Jr. <laughs> okay, Vinny Jr. and my stepchildren. Yes. Uh, that's their way. They all went to the school, baptized. Communion, everything. Confirmation, all Confirmation. That. And um, I, um, yeah, I uh, I went through a bunch of priests and Montinis. I've seen them come and go. Have and, you? You know. And um, this is such a great neighbor. And I remember years ago, it was all Italian. I mean, all Italian. I mean, this is how Italian was. Like, one building would have, like, all the Neapolitans in there. Right. And this building would have all Sicilians in there. They, they were all, they were all different nationalities. But if you were Sicilian, you couldn't move into the building where oh, they were Neapolitans. Goodness. And they had to wait for an opening. Yeah. And, uh, but not because that didn't make it beautiful. But then at night, everybody would sit in front of their building. You know, and they would bring down chairs in these little uh, fold, uh, uh, tables that opened up. Yeah. And they would bring down coffee, lemonade, cake. And, so, uh, in a way, it was a sense of community. Yeah. Everybody became a family. And you didn't even have to lock your doors back then. Oh, my goodness. You know, you could you just shut your door and that was it. Yeah. You didn't have to worry about anybody coming into your apartment. Yeah. Like that. Quick question. I was going to ask you before. So, are your in-laws going to move back to the new apartment? Yeah. Once that's all, they're going to have another apartment. i got to have my mother. Yes. Yeah. You're, so you're such she's a good so son-in-law. Ah, she's such a good girl. Such a good girl. I always told her I wish I would have met you first. Oh. I don't want to repeat... <laughs> What she told me, I, I can only do. imagine what yeah. she said. And uh, but what she used to say to me wasn't very kosher. Yeah. But it was a sign of love. A love. It was a sign of love. And, uh, uh, and luckily, she has a husband that doesn't speak. I mean, he does that at all. <laughs> but but he doesn't interfere he that much. He <laughs> talks very little. I was in Finland for about two or three weeks. Yeah. I came back and said, "Hey, Ralph, how you doing?" That just gave me the hand, like how are you? He doesn't talk. I said, Millie, did he ever give you a headache? <laughs> but I'm sure he doesn't say much, but when he does, it's meaningful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's very pointed, it gets right to the point. Anyway, everybody should come to this place. Chitano brings yes. in Little Italy. You know, it's a little different than the Italian cafe right here. This is Moroccan and French. And you French. get a little variety. Ah, uh, you get a little variety. And everything is so good. And I, we had so much in front of us. I don't know if it's on camera, but as soon as we're done, I'm jumping we're right into it. In. I'm jumping right into it. <laughs> and just by the crowd behind us, you can totally see how popular this restaurant is, this cafe. And welcome to the Mariana Show. <laughs> Vinny and Mariana Show. Hello, like it is. Oh, boy, oh, boy. And we should uh, thank Richard, our director, producer, that's Richard, here. Richard, if it wasn't for Richard, 
we wouldn't be here. No. Richard always does good work. And uh, uh, do you owe me any money, Richard? No, you don't have any money. Okay. He says, I hope not. Uh, somebody I don't owes, think so. Somebody owes me. I don't know who it is. Though. Oh, no. Look at all the beautiful women that pass this place. They just kill me. Yeah. <sighs> and even though it's still really cold outside, people are willing they, uh, to come out, so enjoy cold. the food, enjoy the neighborhood. I know. That's the Swedish girl. Yeah. Anyway. You've got good ears, too, huh? <laughs> she heard me. She, she heard everything I said. Okay, baby. Okay. Well, anyway, as they say in Italy, mazel tov. <laughs> so for all of you out there, once you come to New York, or if you're in New York, if you're a local, please come to this cafe, this restaurant. It is. It's wonderful. It really is. Top notch. Highly Let us recommended. Let come and email me. I'll come and meet yes, you. Yes, we'll come and meet you. Me and Mariana come and meet you. <laughs> I tell you right now, we don't come with any money though. <laughs> Nobody. Mariana is my everything. Oh, thanks, Vinny. My everything. And my wife. Poor Margaret Ann. <laughs> well, she, she, she's everything. Let's put it that way. Mariana is my everything. My wife is everything. And this is the fourth week we are on location. So it's been four weeks that we've been on location doing That's this right. show at a different That's restaurant. Right. Yeah, it's now, been a wonderful show is going to be back in the studio. Back in the studio. Okay, for a month. For a month. And it's four shows. Yes. And then after that, we go back into a location outside. And at, at that point, hopefully it's a little warmer. It's going to be the springtime, so maybe we can venture out a little bit more. We'll see. There you go. Any fingers, uh, uh, Richard? One minute, okay. okay. I, think, I know this. What? Tell them where you are. We're at Cafe Jeton. <laughs> Cafe Jeton on Mach Street. Between Houston and Prince, right off the corner of Prince Street. It's it's dynamite. This place is dynamite. You have to come. You have to come. Email me and let me know when you come down. Me and Mariana will meet you. Elizabeth Street, Little Italy Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be It's Vinny, a friend of mine Stand-up guy from the Lower East Side Take it from me, he's one of a kind It's Vinny Velotar